If you're buying postcard loss off of a seller on eBay and they have multiple shipping options, you might want to watch this video. Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I want to talk with you about something you may encounter if you're purchasing lots off of a seller on eBay. You know, if you're buying postcard lots like a lot of us do on eBay, that's one of our resources to get postcards. Uh, you might want to be aware of this because I was kind of unaware of it and then I figured it out, but I just wanted to share it with you on this video. This morning, I purchased a small lot of older postcards. I think uh, they were some older uh, New York postcards. It was only about 14 in the lot. And he had a make offer tab on it. So I sent him an offer. And he was originally asking, I think, $13.95. And I sent him an offer for $12. And it auto accepted. You can set that up if you want in your system to automatically accept a decline. And I think he auto accepted under a certain amount. But uh, yeah, it auto accepted. But then when I went to pay, you know, one of the things I noticed on his listing was he had two shipping options. One was an expedited shipping, which was priority uh, flat rate uh, small box, which is about $13.55. And the other was media mail, which was only about $4.65. And I was obviously going to go with the media mail because there is no way I was going to pay, you know, $13.55 or whatever it was, you know, for to ship 14 postcards. So, but I went, I went to pay, you know, it said, you know, when it, when it auto accepted, it said pay now. And then it had the $12 that I offered, you know, accepted, that was accepted. But then it had the $13.55 uh, flat rate fee, you know, expedited fee. And it was going to be like 25 and change. And I'm like, where's the media mail option? See, I hadn't used shipping options. I hadn't gone through anybody that was using shipping options in a while. And... You know, when I saw that and it said pay now and it didn't give me that option, I was concerned that if I hit the pay now button, it might automatically just charge that $25 and, you know, I'd be up a creek without a paddle. But so I did some research and uh, I actually even wrote the seller to ask him if he could send me another invoice. Because like I said, I hadn't dealt with multiple shipping options in a while and I forgot how exactly it worked but i found out on ebay that um, all you have to do is go through checkout and that's what kind of piqued my interest i went through a different screen i i went through order i checked on order details and then it gave me a screen that said checkout not pay now now i don't know if it goes to the same place but this said checkout and it said as long as you go through checkout uh it should take you to a page where it gives you your your payment options and any other options you have, like if you want to choose a shipping option. So I went to that page and I went through checkout, praying all the way that it wouldn't charge me, you know, the $25. And it didn't. It took me to a page where I showed my all my payment options, which is my credit cards and my PayPal. But at first I noticed it and it still was defaulting to that $13.55 expedited shipping charge. And I'm like, where's the media mail option then i thought for a second i'm like wait a minute sometimes ebay puts stuff at the bottom of the page so i you know i noticed the, the slider on the side of my computer and it was about halfway down and i'm like let me scroll down to see where if there's an option down there and i scrolled all the way down to the bottom of the page and guess what that's where it was <laughs> okay and yes it had defaulted to the 1355 expedited fee but it also had the option for media mail right there. And I clicked on that and I refreshed the screen and it recalculated the price. And then I was able to pay for the item, you know, with the uh, media mail option. But at first, like I said, I, if I hadn't have known to go through that checkout option, you know, that checkout screen. But uh, yeah, if you're buying and you see a shipping option, always check that before you decide, you know, what you want to do. And if it says, you know, more than one option, sometimes they'll even give you three options. Know that 
uh, if at least as far as my knowledge, if you go through the checkout option, it's going to take you to a separate page where you can choose your payment options. And then what you have to do is you have to scroll to the very bottom of the page to see the other options as far as shipping that are available to you. Because if you don't do that, it's going to automatically default to that first option, which in my case was $13.55. And if I had hit pay now, that's what it would have charged me. And if I had known to scroll to the bottom of the screen and choose the other option, I don't know if eBay moved it or not. I think they used to have it higher up on the screen. But when you first come to that page, you don't see it. It's just it automatically defaults and it says, like in, in this case, it said $12 and $13.55 shipping. I'm like, where's the, where's the other option? So thank God I scrolled to the bottom of the page and I found the other option. And uh, But if I hadn't known to do, to do that, I wouldn't have paid for it. I would have written the, uh, you know, the seller again and had to go back and forth. And he probably would have instructed me and educated me. Because like I said, I haven't seen that. I haven't dealt with those kind of options in a long time. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you in case you have the same situation. If you've had that situation, please leave it in the comments to help somebody else. Because we're all here to help each other, okay? But I just wanted to share that with you this morning. Hope you're having a great day. I had an awesome sales day yesterday. Had over $71 in sales. That was incredible. And I'm still waiting for the first sale to happen today. <laughs> but I'm trusting that that'll come through. But anyway, wanted to share that with you. I'd like to know your thoughts. Leave it in the comments, okay? I got to go. But as always, if you got anything out of this video, and I hope you did, Make sure you smash that like button. It helps the channel. I guess that's it for now. You guys have a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye for now.